Hey guys, so for the first time in a long time, I have a piercings video for you guys. This is mainly just like an FAQ to address all of the questions that I've been getting over like the past two years, mainly about my vertical labret, which I used to have. The questions that I mainly get about that is what happened to it? Why did you take it out? Did something go horribly wrong? And what about scarring? So I'm going to address all of that. I think that's what most people are curious about. And then also later on, I'm going to talk about my current piercings that I still have, why I had to take out the majority of my old piercings, which was about maybe 20 of them, which is pretty bad, I would say. And then later on, what I was able to do to finally keep piercings that I got in the future. So yeah, let's get started because I have a lot to talk about. Okay, so first let's just address the big question that everyone asks me all the time and I, I really wonder why everyone assumes that something went horribly wrong with my lip piercing for me to have to take it out. Like to sum it up really simply, I just wanted to take it out. Um, I got it two years ago, I think, and prior to that I had wanted it really really badly for three years and during that time I sort of had this idea in the head of what it would look like on me and how much I would love it but finally when I got the piercing I actually wasn't as in love with it on me as much as I had hoped that I would love it I don't know I just didn't I didn't care for it on me as much as I did on other people actually coincidentally at that time this was like years ago but I had some jobs in Tokyo and they preferred me to take out the piercing which I thought was understandable and personally like I just didn't care enough to just always like take it off and put it back in especially when I was traveling I felt like it was just easier for me to just take it out and not have to worry about it. Between losing it and keeping it, when someone asked me to take it out, I just decided it was fine and I didn't really care. Piercings are like temporary anyway and I just thought like, you know, if I do regret taking it out then I can always just re-pierce it like it doesn't really bother me so yeah I just took it out and that's what happened to my vertical livery piercing nothing went horribly wrong and let's talk about scarring so I filmed this little bit for you guys before I put on any of my makeup so there's two points uh, where you could have a scar and for me I really only see the tiniest pin prick of a scar on um, the bottom of my lip. If I like suck in my bottom lip, you guys can kind of see it's like barely there. And that's only if I suck in my bottom lip, which is like, when am I ever going to be walking around like making this expression? So realistically speaking, no one can ever see this scar. I never notice it either, but I know it's there and it's so tiny. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. I have other scars from other piercings, which are like way more noticeable. And so for the little uh, scar that's supposed to be at the center of my lip because I have very naturally pigmented lips they're very dark red um, I never see it ever it's just like not there so if anyone ever wants to get like a vertical library piercing or just like a lip piercing in general I feel like you know you don't really have that much to lose if you're worried about scarring especially if it's on your face I know people are generally pretty worried about that um, yeah I would say go for it. it it really doesn't like bother me I don't see it on a daily basis Okay, so with that, let's move on to the second part of this FAQ video. Let's talk about current piercings that I still have and let's talk about uh, why I had to take out all of my previous ones. Um, yeah, that, that was not a fun experience. So right now I have six low piercings in total, so that's three on each side. And I have one helix piercing up here, or I think more commonly known, people call them cartilage piercings. And then I have one in the center right here, and this is called a conch piercing. And I still have my tongue piercing. This one is fine. It's like my trustiest piercing. It's been there like since the beginning of time. And it's like, it's been, it's been with me since like I started my YouTube channel. I think it's probably one of the first piercing videos that I ever made. Yeah, so this is, this is still here. Um, it's like really like low maintenance. I never think about it. I forget that it's there. Yeah, just make sure that you get really well-fitting jewelry. Um, I had to size down quite a few times um, from the standard 
the standard bar size to make sure that I got a bar that fit my tongue really well. You don't want it to be like super tight, but you want it to be like snug so that it's not like flopping around in your mouth, especially when you're eating. You don't want to like accidentally bite on it and like break a tooth. That would be the worst thing ever. Um, so yeah, just make sure that it fits well to your tongue and you know, screw in the jewelry really tight so that you don't like, you know, risk swallowing it and you should be fine. There should be like no issues with it. So the tongue piercing aside, all of these piercings, they're not, you know, obviously as like exciting as the ones that I used to have, but you know, I still like them. I'm happy with where my piercings are right now because they're really, really healthy and I think that's the biggest thing. So previously when I talked about getting piercings, I said that I recommended uh, getting pierced with surgical steel. I don't want to say that I was entirely wrong because I'm not, but at the same time, it's not like the best option for like everyone on the planet. Um, so most people can get pierced with surgical steel and it's fine. Um, but for people who are particularly sensitive to piercings or metals or jewelry, I would highly recommend getting pierced with titanium instead. It's quite expensive, but it's definitely worth it, especially if you know you don't have a risk of rejecting the piercing because of infection. Um, you can also get pierced with gold, but I personally don't really care for getting pierced with gold. It's quite pricey, so I would definitely opt for titanium instead. So this is actually the biggest reason as to why I had to take out all of my piercings before. I don't have any of my old piercings anymore, except my tongue piercing, that's fine. For some reason, any like mouth piercings that I get, those are fine with surgical steel. They just heal so quickly. My vertical library piercing was fine, but anywhere else like on the body and also especially my ears, I actually turned out to be very allergic to surgical steel. I don't have issues with wearing surgical steel when my piercings are healed, but when you have like an open wound um, with a metal that you're kind of sensitive to, it's it's not it's not a good situation at that time i didn't know because i didn't know of the option of getting pierced with titanium for people who are sensitive with piercings so this entire time every time i had an issue with a new piercing i just thought oh it's just me like i'm just really sensitive to piercings i'm just not cut out for this but actually when i started getting pierced with titanium um last year all of my piercings were fine and that's how i kind of finally figured it out so before aftercare was always like such a pain in the ass for me before i used to make my own saline solution and I would just kind of like hold my ear or like my lip or wherever else just like in a cup and I would soak it um, yeah that's such a that's such a pain um, you don't need to do that um, basically what I do now is that I buy like a can of saline solution spray and I get like a paper towel and I spray it and saturate the paper towel and I spray my ear both sides and then I hold the saturated paper towel against my piercing and I just hold it there um, once a day after I shower. Out of all of the methods that I've tried to clean my piercings and to care for them, this is by far the one that's worked the best for me. Also, definitely don't mess around with your piercings, um, especially like with unclean hands. That's definitely not good. Um, the only time I allow myself to touch my piercings is in the shower. Um, in the shower with like hot water and like all the steam, I like to just kind of like clean my piercing just with the water. And then afterwards, I'll soak it with the saline uh, spray. I think it's pretty minimal for an aftercare routine, but for some reason, like this just works really, really well for me. Um, I do want to say that I've never ever had a helix piercing heal completely, which as sad as that sounds, is just, that's just the way it was before. But with all of the things that I've implemented now, for the first time, I have one single heal helix and my conch piercing is still on the way. This one just takes quite some time to heal, so it's still healing, um, but it's doing really well. It's not like swollen and in pain all the time. They're not bleeding all the time like my old piercings were. And it's mainly just because I was allergic to the metal that I was getting pierced with, which just, it sucks. Of course it would be me. I feel like for most people, this probably doesn't matter. Um, but for anyone who's had like a lot of issues getting piercings and keeping them, I would say that this information is probably like relevant to you. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, yeah, I hope that this just answered some questions that you guys had. If it's not questions about my hair, like the second most frequently asked question would be about my piercings and it would be about what happened to your vertical labray? Um, so yeah, I hope this just like answers any questions that you guys had. Um, I don't think that I will be making any more like 
piercing like dedicated videos. I don't want to say for sure, but as of now, I probably won't because I've gone through that phase in my life and I'm very like satisfied. Like I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Maybe I would get a few more on this ear, but like, I'm good. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sending me your questions as usual and I will catch you guys again next time.